This all started in 2018 when district voters approved a half billion dollar bond that included 31 million to replace the decayed Joe Alvey Stadium. That same year, voters within city limits said in an advisory vote they'd prefer that replacement be built at the same site in northwest Spokane rather than downtown. The board voted that year to follow that vote and they greenlit a replacement project at Joe Alvey. I think a big part of those discussions back in 2018 was was that there wasn't a concrete solution on the other side of the fence, right? Um, there, there was so many questions up in the air still. Um, so I, I, I honestly think an advisory vote, in order to go against that, there has to be significant amount of information that points to the contrary. That project's design phase recently wrapped up. Construction is supposed to begin soon. But earlier this year, a business group brought a new proposal to the table, one with much more detail. It included a plan for parking and an agreement from a minor league soccer team to come to Spokane if the stadium is built downtown. Board President Jarrell Haynes says members wanted to keep an open mind. We've been collecting a lot of input, different data points, whether, you know, it's been emails, phone calls, um, the public forums that we had, uh, the thought exchange survey. A lot of that input has been pro downtown, including a recent endorsement of the proposal from Spokane Mayor Nadine Woodward. Supporting the downtown location makes the most community, access and financial sense. But there have also been concerns about parking, about effects to the nearby Spokane Civic Theater, and about overriding that 2018 advisory vote. It was reflective of what of what I already knew is that, you know, we have, you know, community members that are very passionate about both sides of this argument. I, I like to say that we live in a pretty balanced city. And, and as a result, whenever any of these major topics come around, there, there is a split and divide that we notice. All the while, board members have largely refrained from giving their own input, but that ends tonight. In a special meeting, they're scheduled to begin discussing their options. They may or may not vote tonight, but regardless, they're running out of time. Haynes says they need to make a call by early May. If we don't have a decision by then, then we start to lose a tremendous amount of money as time continues to pass. They could decide to go forward with the downtown proposal as presented to them, to reject it and continue with the Albi project, or to modify the downtown proposal in some way. Haynes said that decision will ultimately come down to one thing. What's best for students and the health of our school district? That's, that's top of the list. I, I believe I feel safe enough to say for each and every one of my fellow board members. Casey Decker, Creme 2 News.